bien. All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vion Adesa. At least about seven people have been killed and over 700 others have been seriously injured after a powerful 7.4 magnitude earthquake jolted Taiwan's capital, Taipei. Now, the quake had earlier prompted tsunami warnings in the self-ruled island, parts of southern Japan and the Philippines. However, Japan and the Philippines have now lifted the warnings. Now, the epicenter of the earthquake is recorded in the waters of the eastern coastline of Taiwan. And as per Taiwan's weather administration, at least about 25 aftershocks have been recorded. Now, the quake actually hit at a depth of about 15.5 kilometers, damaging over 100 buildings across the island and trapping at least about 77 people. Now, the search for the trapped people is, of course, ongoing. Emergency personnel were seen going door to door in the Hualien city to spot the distressed residents. In the worst damaged building of the city, at least about 22 people have been brought to safety and just one remains missing. Now, this is also the strongest earthquake to have hit the island in the last 25 years. The jewels have knocked out power in over 80,000 households in Taiwan. But apart from this, the tremors have also caused landslides across Taiwan. Witness videos show several vehicles being damaged after rocks rolled over following the earthquake. Roads have been damaged with cracks spanning several meters. And as per Taipei's authorities, no damage has been reported in the city. The rail functions are also back to running as per usual. However, delays are expected for the pretty aggressive tremors. Japan has alerted the evacuation advisory for the coastal areas of the Okinawa prefecture on a scale of 1 to 7. Tokyo's authorities have slated the quake at an upper 6. Yeah. The quake was also felt in several regions in China and this includes the Fujian province and the Shanghai region. Meanwhile, the Philippines has also issued warnings in the coastal regions. 
urging the residents to evacuate to higher grounds. Now, the India Taipei Association has also issued an emergency helpline number and an email ID. In the wake of the quake, the helpline will help in assisting and guarding the Indian nationals who, are, who could be under distress in Taiwan. Now, before this, Taiwan was faced with its strongest earthquake back in 2016 and prior to that in 1999. In 2016, the quake of about 6.4 magnitude had jolted southern Taiwan and it had killed 116 people. While in the year 1999, an earthquake that measured 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale had struck the Chichi region of the island, claiming the lives of at least about 2,415 people. Now, the recent quake is the strongest one to have hit Taiwan since 1999. And also to give us more perspective in terms of what, of course, is happening in Taiwan, Isabel Wong has sent us this report from Taipei. Listen in. On early Wednesday morning, an earthquake of 7.2 magnitude struck Taiwan, claiming at least four lives and injuring 57 people by 1 p.m. local time. Polly and bore the brunt of this disaster. Landslides disrupted the Suwa Highway, vital for connecting Taiwan's north and eastern regions. The quake also led to the tilting of two Hualien buildings, with 22 individuals rescued in the aftermath. The 7.2 quake was originated at the depth of 15.5 kilometers near Taiwan's eastern Hualien County. By noon, the seismological center reported 58 aftershocks, with two notably strong quakes exceeding magnitude 6. The morning saw a 6.5 magnitude quake at 8.11 followed by a 6.2 magnitude shock at 10.14. Residents are advised to prepare for aftershocks, potentially reaching or exceeding 6.5 magnitude in the coming three days. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.